Welcome back, mystery enthusiasts, to another episode on The Dark World Hub. Today, we're diving deep into the world of most popular urban legends that have intrigued and terrified us for generations. We'll be uncovering the chilling tales of Talking Angela, Sad Satan, and the eerie Slender Man. So buckle up, turn down the lights, and prepare for a journey into the heart of the unexplained. If you're ready, let's get started. The Russian Sleep Experiment According to legend buried deep within the secret recesses of Soviet Russia's scientific experiments of the 1940s, the Russian sleep experiment unveiled the consequences of unyielding ambition and the horrors hidden within the human mind. The experiment tested a stimulant in hopes of creating super soldiers who didn't need sleep. Five prisoners were offered their freedom in exchange for staying awake for 30 consecutive days. Instead of reaching a scientific breakthrough, however, the Russian sleep experiment quickly spun out of control and ended in a nightmare. The scientists locked the prisoners inside a sealed chamber, exposing them to the gas-based stimulant while observing their behavior from the outside. While the first three days were uneventful, the prisoners soon began acting erratically as their minds descended into delusional paranoia. No longer speaking to one another, the prisoners seemingly fell into psychosis as they whispered about the horrors they witnessed during the war and reported seeing things that weren't there. The scientists locked the prisoners inside a sealed chamber, exposing them to the gas-based stimulant while observing their behavior from the outside. While the first three days were uneventful, the prisoners soon began acting erratically as their minds descended into delusional paranoia. No longer speaking to one another, the prisoners seemingly fell into psychosis as they whispered about the horrors they witnessed during the war and reported seeing things that weren't there. After nine days, two prisoners began screaming, almost to the point of blowing out their vocal cords. Then, just as suddenly as the scream started, an eerie silence later fell over the chamber. The experiment was cut short on its fifteenth day when the scientists opened the chamber to check on the prisoners and walked in on countless acts of depraved brutality. One prisoner lay dead, his body gruesomely dismembered. The others suffered from various forms of self-mutilation, having ripped out chunks of their own body. Their fingertips ended in jagged bones, presumably utilized to scrape the skin off their own faces. The survivors also developed inhuman strength and a resistance to sedatives. When questioned why they mutilated themselves, the subjects responded, I must stay awake, and refused to leave the chamber. Ultimately, all five prisoners died, but not before telling the scientists they were the evil you bury while you sleep. The Blind Maiden Warning Entering this website may cost you your life. According to legend, blindmaiden.com is home to an evil spirit that will steal the soul of anyone who enters. For those brave enough to risk an encounter, Gaining access isn't as easy as simply typing the name into the browser. The website is usually offline, leaving most thrill-seekers without being able to enter. But don't lose hope, as access can be granted if you follow three particular conditions. 1. It must be a moonless night. 2. No lights may remain on. 3. You must be completely alone in your house. If the previous conditions are met, you can try accessing blindmaiden.com once the clock strikes midnight. Rumors report users seeing a montage of pictures flicker across the page as soon as they enter. The twisted collection of images depicts eyeless children frozen mid-scream. Each photo is more gruesome and harrowing than the last, but should you endure, a message in Spanish will pop up cautioning. This website will take you to a whole new level of horror, a horror that will use all five of your senses. You must be very careful not to click on anything by accident you will be faced with a real experience of absolute horror. Click the Accept button to engage actively in the experience. Users may then accept or decline the invitation. Users who accepted the invitation will see a new image on their monitor. Instead of screaming faces, they'll see a black silhouette walking toward their house. The spirit will continue her approach until the user can see their back reflected on their computer screen. The last thing they'll feel is a tap on their back as the spirit steals their eyes and adds their screaming face to the collection on her website. Hide and Seek Alone Hitori Kakurenbo, also known as Hide and Seek Alone, is a chilling paranormal challenge that's often referenced as one of the most dangerous games in the world. Its origins trace back to early Japanese forums where users discussed horror and supernatural experiences. But what began as a simple set of instructions soon transformed into a haunting phenomenon that has captured the attention of thrill-seekers across the internet. 
The game willingly invites a malevolent entity into your home for a sinister game of hide-and-seek. Be warned, the consequences of being found can, according to legend, potentially cost you your life. Players who survived Hitori Kakurenbo have also reported instances of possession, severe bodily harm, and episodes of psychological distress. To summon the spirit, participants will need a doll with limbs, nail clippers, a bag of rice, a needle with red thread, a pencil or another sharp object, a cup of salt water, a bathtub or sink filled with water, and a TV in the room you plan to hide in. The game can begin at 3 a.m. after a series of rituals invites the entity into the doll. The game doesn't end until players drink a mouthful of salt water to banish the spirit from their home. If you choose to play, do not let the game go on longer than two hours and never, for whatever reason, let the spirit find you. Slender Man On May 31, 2014, horror rocked the small town of Waukesha, Wisconsin, when two 12-year-old girls lured Peyton Leutner into the woods and brutally stabbed her 19 times. The ritualistic attack was part of a pact made by Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire to gain the favor of a creature known as Slender Man. Slender Man emerged from the shadows in 2009 when Eric Knudsen, under the username Victor Surge, shared a chilling photo manipulation on the online forum Something Awful. The black and white image depicted a group of children playing on a playground, unaware of an eerie figure lurking ominously in the background. Knudsen said he wanted to create something whose motivations can barely be comprehended and which caused unease and terror in a general population. He had no idea his creation would fuel a new era of modern urban legends. Characterized by its unnaturally tall body, elongated limbs, and featureless white face, Slender Man embodies an unsettling aura of mystery and terror. He quietly invades our lives, blipping into existence in the background of birthday parties, family gatherings, and celebrations. The ambiguity of his nature resonated with people so much, it wasn't long before the forum exclusively focused on building lore surrounding the faceless creature, each entry breathing more life and collective fear into its creation. His strength grew with each new story and photo posted, transforming him from a silent amorphous figure to a malicious being set on stalking and psychologically torturing his prey. With each new story, Slender Man blurs internet fiction with reality and the collaborative nature of his creation skyrocketed his popularity until he became one of the web's most famous urban legends. The Rake In the fictional backstory of The Rake, sightings of strange, humanoid creatures spread throughout rural New York communities during the summer of 2003, sparking fears of an unknown species invading towns. The mysterious creature was allegedly caught on camera sparking brief media interest before an apparent blackout erased all traces of the creature from existence. Known as the Rake, this entity appears human, yet its features are profoundly unsettling. The creature has a lanky, emaciated physique, a hunched back and knife-like teeth. Its pitch-black eyes are hollow and devoid of any discernible emotion. Some accounts depict the Rake with long, metallic fingers resembling rakes, while others describe them as bones that have been sharpened into points. The rake is considered dangerous, attacking those who encroach on its territory, though it's also known to stalk humans like prey. On rare occasions, the rake will silently enter a home, killing its victims before they wake. Some say the creature can shapeshift, while others recount the creature teleporting, allowing them to track their intended victims regardless of how far they drive to escape. The rake's creator is unknown but online forums claim the first sighing was noted in a journal as early as 1691. The journal reads, He came to me in my sleep. From the foot of my bed I felt a sensation. He took everything. We must return to England. We shall not return here again at the request of the rake. Candle Cove Candle Cove is best known for being the most disturbing TV show to ever exist. Created by cartoonist and author Chris Straub, the story launched on his website Icor Falls before becoming one of the Internet's most famous creepypastas. Told in the form of an online thread named Net Nostalgia Forums, a group of users begin discussing an old children's TV show, Candle Cove. The reminiscing starts innocently enough with discussions about a character named Janice who imagined she was friends with pirates, but it slowly took a disturbing turn as they recalled bizarre characters like Skin Taker, who wore clothes made from children's skin. 
They also recalled an entire episode in which all the characters did was scream. More distressing details gradually emerged. The users remembered different versions of the same episode. No record of Candle Cove actually existed, and whenever they watched Candle Cove as children, their parents claimed they were watching Static instead of a TV show. While Straub was inspired to write Candle Cove after reading an article on The Onion, fans quickly spread the story across the internet until it took on a mythos of its own. Dedicated fans have created websites devoted to the characters and their mythology, and have even written detailed episode descriptions for two seasons of the show. Its popularity eventually led Sci-Fi to develop Channel Zero, a show whose first season centered on the mystery of Candle Cove. The Elevator Game The origins of the Elevator Game trace back to either Japan or South Korea, where whispers of an otherworldly challenge began circulating around the internet in the late 2010 IES. According to Urban Legend, the game is a dangerous ritual intended to transport daring participants to another dimension, where the veil between the living and the otherworldly diminishes. To play, you must follow these rules. 1. Enter a building with at least 10 stories. 2. You must enter the elevator alone and you can't leave the elevator until you've completed every step of the ritual. 3. You must ride the elevator from floor to floor in a specific sequence. The sequence is as follows. Go up to the fourth floor, down to the second floor, up to the sixth floor, down to the second floor, back up to the tenth floor, then back down to the fifth floor. 4. When you get to the fifth floor, you may encounter a mysterious woman getting on the elevator. Do not look at her and refrain from engaging with her in any way. If you engage with the woman, you risk never returning to the real world. 5. The next instruction is crucial. Push the button for the first floor. If the elevator operates as normal and takes you to the ground floor, exit immediately and do not look back. Don't speak to anyone who approaches until you leave the building. If, however, the elevator starts ascending, you've gained access to the other world. Players must be careful when venturing outside the elevator. Sometimes the world can be dark, with an eerie red glow appearing outside the windows. Sometimes the new dimension may appear almost exactly the same as normal. Don't be fooled. As soon as you step outside the elevator, you may easily become lost as the world begins to shift around you. Whatever you do, never lose track of how to return to the elevator. If you do, there is no getting back. We're halfway through our list of the most popular urban legends, and we'd love to hear from you. Do you have any spooky stories to share? Which of these legends have you heard of before? Do you have an urban legend you would like for us to cover? Drop a comment below and join the conversation. We'll let you in on a secret at the end of this video. Now let's get back to our countdown. Dear David, it all started with a nightmare. On August 7, 2017, illustrator and cartoonist Adam Ellis greeted Twitter by recounting a recurring nightmare about a ghostly boy named David. What started as a way of clearing his head soon progressed into a series of bizarre events that captivated the Internet and had thousands fearing the appearance of a childlike ghost with a dent in his head. The more Ellis tweeted about his experiences with David, the more strange phenomena manifested in his presence. But Ellis didn't expect to be taken at just his word. Unlike most ghost stories lingering on the internet, Ellis provided Polaroids of his doorframe that refused to develop, audio clips of weird bumps in the night, and videos of his cats acting strangely. By cataloging his experiences, Ellis pieced together a haunting narrative convincing enough to feel real. Every unsettling event further blurred the line between reality and the supernatural, and it wasn't long until his Twitter thread became a captivating multimedia experience that drew readers deeper into the legend of Dear David. Whether Dear David is fake or as real as the author suggests, there's something undeniably terrifying in its execution. Every update left readers a little more haunted by the possibility that the supernatural entity really existed. And if a supernatural entity existed, what was stopping it from transcending the computer screen and spilling into their world? Lobe. There's a horrifying new cryptid haunting the internet. More specifically, she's slowly creeping into computer-generated images like a contagion, transforming serene pictures into grotesque hellscapes. Her name is Loeb, and she was first discovered by a Swedish-based artist, Super Composite, when she was feeding an image generator negative prompts. After responding to a reverse of a reverse prompt, the AI rendered a long-haired older woman with blotchy red cheeks. While her initial appearance didn't seem too out of the ordinary, something inexplicable happened when Super Composite started combining Loeb with various other image prompts. 
Something about Loeb's presence encouraged the AI to generate extremely gory and macabre imagery, often including dismembered bodies, screaming children, and humans twisted into stomach-churning monstrosities. Some AI-generated images were so disturbing, Super Composite decided not to upload them to the public. Some believe Loeb is a demon, while others consider her a ghost or a new type of cryptid. Astonishingly, some hail her as a symbol of unyielding femininity, refusing to compromise her chilling appearance to satisfy societal expectations. However people see her, Super Composite leaves people with a chilling warning. She finds everyone sooner or later. You just have to know where to look. Sad Satan. Sad Satan may be one of the most disturbing games to emerge from the depths of the deep web. The game gained notoriety when Obscure Horror Corner, a YouTube channel known for exploring obscure and unsettling games, uploaded the first-ever playthrough onto his platform. He claimed an anonymous user sent him the game, piquing curiosity and sparking widespread speculation. The gameplay involved navigating a maze-like labyrinth of disturbing imagery that pushed the boundaries of horror gaming. Perhaps the most unsettling aspect of the game was its use of real-life horrors in creating a disorienting, dread-inducing atmosphere. Viewers were confronted by images of JFK moments before his assassination, references to notorious child predators, and distorted audio clips of Charles Manson and Hitler. Deepening the mystery behind the game, Sad Satan contained encrypted messages that compelled fans to obsessively decipher their meaning. One Redditor was able to decipher some strange text files, which randomly blipped on and off the screen, as messages that said, I can track you, you are on my list, and kill, kill and kill again, before sending the threat, five victim. Even though online communities hoping to unravel the secrets behind Sad Sad sprung up on various internet forums, no one was ever able to figure out the nature of the game or who was behind it. The most prevalent theory was that Obscure Horror Corner staged the hoax to bolster his following, but the man behind the platform still claims he has no idea where the game came from. Those tempted to seek out Sad Satan and find their own answers should proceed with extreme caution. Reports warn of multiple versions of the game circulating online, each infected with dangerous viruses. The potential risks associated with downloading Sad Satan serve as an ominous reminder that some mysteries are best left unsolved. Blank Room Soup. Blank Room Soup may be one of the deep web's most mysterious and unsettling videos. The video unfolds in a bleak, featureless white room, where a solitary man sits hunched over a table, eating soup with an overly sized wooden spoon. The man is softly crying, his eyes blocked out by a black sensor bar. Within seconds, a deep-seated discomfort palpitates from the video, becoming even more distressing as the man's cries become sobs. The video becomes even more disturbing when a second figure emerges from a darkened doorway. The figure wears a gigantic prosthetic suit resembling a nondescript cartoon character and begins petting the man as he eats the soup. They're joined by a second identical character, who also strokes the man before the video ends. Originally uploaded on YouTube as Freaky Soup Guy in 2005, there are still more questions than answers about the video. Is it actual footage? An art piece? According to legend, the man in the video was kidnapped and starved before being fed his wife and children. Instead of consoling the man, the figures are actually torturing him by mockingly comforting him as they force him to cannibalize his family. When you scratch the surface of the internet urban legend, however, a different origin story emerges. The creepy figures in the video were traced back to an artist named Raymond S. Percy. He admitted to having suits of the characters created, but remains adamant that the suits were stolen from his car long before the creation of the video. Lavender Town Syndrome For many people, Pokemon is synonymous with a fun, carefree childhood, but beneath the facade of cute creatures lingers a dark secret that has, according to legend, claimed the lives of multiple children. While Pokemon has transitioned into one of the most successful augmented reality storytelling platforms, the original Red and Green games featured a sinister tune that allegedly caused children to suffer psychological distress. Known as Lavender Town Syndrome, it led to reports of mysterious illnesses, headaches, and even suicides among young players. Players encountered the eerie music in Lavender Town, a small village that served as the game's graveyard for deceased Pokémon. 
The macabre score felt out of sync with the upbeat vibes previously set by the games and was rumored to cause over 100 children to self-mutilate or even take their own lives just days following its release. Theories about the suicides blamed high-pitched tones for driving children mad, with some even suggesting the game's director, Satoshi Tajiri, intentionally included the music in the red version to punish those who selected the version over Pokemon Green. Polybius According to legend, if you were a kid in the fall of 1981, you might have encountered a mysterious video game that remains at the center of an internet urban legend. Named Polybius, the seemingly innocuous cabinet appeared in arcades around Portland, Oregon, with little fanfare but quickly drew a following with its mesmerizing graphics and fast-paced gameplay. The situation took a sinister turn, however, when players reported experiencing bizarre and disturbing side effects, these effects supposedly included amnesia, nightmares, seizures, and even suicidal ideation. As the story goes, the FBI secretly developed Polybius as an experiment to test the effects of mind control or subliminal messaging on unsuspecting players. This was a hard rumor to dispute, considering numerous witnesses corroborated multiple sightings of men in black who would periodically visit the arcade. There is, however, one crucial fact missing. There is no concrete evidence to support that Polybius ever existed. Despite all the hype surrounding Polybius, no one has ever been able to find unaltered photos or records of a high-score leaderboard, and the dubious screenshot of its home screen lists a gaming company that never existed. Despite the lack of substantiating evidence, the Polybius legend has become a part of gaming folklore, with numerous references in popular culture, including video games, movies, and an episode of The Simpsons. The Momo Challenge In 2018, police departments and schools from Mexico to the United Kingdom issued warnings about a viral WhatsApp challenge that allegedly endangered children's lives. Reported to have originated in Mexico, the Momo Challenge encouraged players to communicate with an unknown person who called themselves Momo. Using the avatar of an eerie bird-like woman with bulging eyes, Momo challenged players to commit various acts of delinquency and self-harm. A 12-year-old from Buenos Aires even reportedly hanged herself from a tree in her backyard. With a demonic appearance that can easily cause an adult to have nightmares, it's unsurprising that parents quickly panicked over reports of Momo instigating a suicide game among their children. As widespread as the panic became, there was never any solid proof that a child actually hurt themselves over the game. Even without confirmed reports of danger, Multiple police jurisdictions across various countries issued public safety warnings, stoking panic and keeping Momo's creepy image in the headlines. As widespread as the panic became, the reported deaths were never verified, and Momo eventually left the spotlight as quickly as she came. As for the origins of the creepy children lady, it's a sculpture called Mother Bird by Japanese artist Keisuke Aisawa, who claims he had no part in the hoax. Talking Angela a talking cat instigated a wave of panic across Facebook when parents became convinced it was the face of a nefarious group that targeted children. The character in question belonged to a phone application named Talking Angela. Angela is a cute, interactive cat who can respond to prompts, mimic things said to her through the phone's microphone, and read and react to hand gestures. In the age of interactive phone applications, Talking Angela sounds innocent enough, but controversy arose over a message feature that allowed users to chat with Angela. Parents feared hackers used the app to gain personal information about their children, potentially sharing their addresses and photos. The creators of Talking Angela, Outfit 7, repeatedly reassured the public that no personal data was collected and claims of hackers and an underground ring associated with the app remain unfounded. As for Talking Angela chatting with children and taking their photos, Parents can easily disable these features by turning on the child safety mode offered when they first downloaded the app. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through the most popular urban legends. We hope you found it as intriguing as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends who love a good mystery. And remember, the world of the unknown is vast and full of surprises. This brings us to revealing the secret. For our next video, We'll be diving into the eerie world of dark web mystery boxes. You won't want to miss it. So make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you won't miss any of our future explorations. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and as always, stay curious. 
This is the Dark World Hub, signing off.